Good afternoon, Manchester. It's Wednesday, November 21st. Welcome to this week's edition of The Pulse. I'm Tiana Rawlings. And I'm Michael Christie. Thank you so much for joining us. This week on The Pulse, we'll take a look at one very popular new flex offering that has students putting their volleyball skills to the test. And later, we'll take you behind the scenes of the fall show here at MHS. Finally, we'll take a look at the one MHS fan section known as the Tribe and see what effect it has on students and athletes. All this and much more coming up on this week's edition of The, the Pulse. Pulse. This year, there's a new opportunity to flex your muscles during the school day, and the Cavallo takes a court side with FlexBlock's newest offering. This year at MHS, our very own EPSA Academy has brought intramurals to flex. It was made by a group of students and their supervisor, Mr. Sanborn, a physical education teacher here at the so high school. Basically, Mr. Sanborn just kind of got us all together, and he, like, he brought us into a room. Basically, everyone who had period seven off and was in the EPSA Academy, he just talked to us and he pitched the idea about intramurals. It didn't necessarily mean volleyball, it just meant like intramural sports in general. The games take place every month from now through the spring, all leading up to a winner-take-all playoff bracket. Teams were submitted by Google Form a few weeks back and it was made open to all staff and students here at Manchester. Because if this goes good, then there will be more to come. With the addition of Volleyball to Flex, it gives students a unique opportunity here to have fun with their friends and also adds a competitive atmosphere to MHS. From Manchester, has been Anthony Caval reporting. With the success of volleyball, be on the lookout for more intramural sports opportunities during Flex. Wow, it sounds like a good opportunity. I'll be sure to join next week. While it's good to compete during the school day, the CIAC winter sports season has started. While playing and competing might not be for everyone, Natalie Sanchez brings us a way for everyone to get involved this season. With basketball season on the approach, The tribe must awaken. Noted to be one of the most enthusiastic fan sections in the Central Connecticut Basketball Conference, the tribe is only continuing to grow. As leadership has passed on from 2018 alumnus Chris Pagano to senior Andrew Suey, students look to keep this tradition well alive. The true meaning of the tribe is to have fun and get loud and support the basketball team, the football team, any sport that's playing, encourage everyone to come out and just have a great time with your beers. This year, the Tribe is looking to expand the MHS fan section even more, and it's players like Logan Tomlinson who are grateful for his school spirit. Uh, the Tribe means a lot to me. Uh, it brings a lot of energy to the gym. Uh, the games are a lot more fun. When the Tribe's there, you know, there's a lot of support. It just makes it more fun to play. This year, the basketball team is deemed to be the best Manchester has had since winning the conference title in 2002, which means the Tribe is more than expected to show up. Last year, every, every home game, it got bigger and bigger and bigger, and I expect this year to be even bigger. Yet most importantly, the Tribe represents a united and diverse environment that comes with being a part of the MHS family. In just a few weeks, these empty bleachers will be filled with over 100 fans that will be representing the MHS Tribe. Whether you're in the court or on the bleachers, this season is sure to be like no other. From Manchester, this has been Natalie Sanchez reporting. The Tribe is set to be more supportive and louder than ever this MHS basketball season. For more information, you can visit manchesterathletics.org and make sure to follow the Tribe on Instagram at MHS underscore Tribe. I'm a part of the Tribe and it's a very energetic fan zone and I love going to the basketball games. Now we'll take a short break, but when we come back, we'll take a look at another tribe, the new family generation section coming to the 2019 yearbook. Stay tuned. When you see these lights, be sure to slow down and come to a complete stop. Around 30,000 commercial buses are on the road in America alone, with about 134 people dying a year as a result of school transportation related incidents. Don't be the one to raise this number. Stay stopped until the stop sign is no longer visible. Safety around school buses is more important than ever, so make sure you always stay alert and be careful. This year, the MHS yearbook includes a brand new section that includes multiple generations of MHS family. Jennifer Rivard shows us what this edition means to the MHS students. This year marks the 125th anniversary of Manchester High School. 
Each year, Mr. Pritko assists his students with producing the yearbook, which serves as an everlasting memory of high school. For many years, the yearbook has included a senior sibling section dedicated for seniors that have siblings within the high school. Um, I think it's a great opportunity for uh, family members to get closer together from the school. However, this year, to honor this historic anniversary, the yearbook chose to include generations of families that have graduated from MHS in the past. In your family's edition this year because um, it's 125th anniversary and with so many, so much history, we want to offer and kind of show that through this year's book. This unique opportunity allows students to have their entire families included in the yearbook. It's nice to see like how families went through the program and how everybody was affected by the MHS community. The yearbook staff encourages all students to purchase a yearbook so that they can cherish their high school memories forever. From The Pulse, this has been Jennifer Rivard reporting. If you're interested in buying a yearbook, be sure to see Mr. Pritko in room 165. One moment that is sure to make the Harbinger is this year's Sock and Buskins Fall Show of California Suite. was a huge success and all three showtimes were sold out. Alex Myers shows us the hard work that went into making the show so successful. The Fall Show grabs the attention of MHS teachers and staff each year. But what actually goes on behind the curtain to produce the enjoyable show California Suite? The audience watches the finished product but is unable to see the hard work and cast bonding that happens backstage. So along with some of the help of uh, some parents and some other people that volunteer their own time, we, along with the tech crew at MHS, build the set every year. So all the wood that you see for the walls is reused from other shows. Cast members are responsible for doing their hair, makeup, and changing into their costumes before the curtain rises. Before the cast takes the stage, a special cast prayer and shakeout tradition brings them all together. The cast members take one final breath before stepping through the wooden door of the set. Sense of nerve, like I get shaky. I have this ritual where before stage we, we shake it out. Um, and I also go backstage and I just kind of get in my headspace. The entire cast enjoyed putting this show together and created memories that will last a lifetime. From The Pulse, this has been Alex Meyer reporting. An MHS rendition of the iconic musical Wizard of Oz, so make sure not to miss out. I saw the show and loved it. I can't wait for the next one. Well, that's all we have for you this week, Manchester. Be sure to tune in next Friday to see what the annual Thanksgiving Road Race means to our community and to learn more about the MHS show team. If you have any ideas for upcoming stories we might have missed, you can email Mr. Larson at b11elars at mpspride.org. To learn more about The Pulse or check out some of our other projects, visit our website at mhstelevision.com. And don't forget to follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook at MHS Red Prod. I'm Michael Christie. And I'm Tiana Rawlings. And this has been The, the Pulse. Pulse.